Welcome you all in this class. We are going to solve another example of weighted average cost of capital. But before starting today's class, please follow my previous class on WACC, which will help you to understand today's lecture. Let's follow the question. The capital structure of a company is given with equity share capital is 5 lakh rupees, total number of equity share is 5000. There is 10% preferential capital of 2 lakhs rupees, total number of preferential is 2000. It is very much indicating that the book value per equity share and preferential as well is rupees 100. 12% debenture is available and which is directly provided, no denomination is provided over here, that is 3 lakh rupees. And total amount of structure, total amount of capital is 10 lakh rupees. This is the total amount of capital, that proportion between equity capital, preference capital and debenture. Equity capital is 5 lakhs, preference capital is 2 lakhs and debenture is 3 lakhs. Total 10 lakhs. The earning per share on EPS is available here that is rupees 30 and current market price per share that is also available rupees 240. Find WACC considering 30% tax rate under book value as well under market value as well. First we have to calculate WACC taking book value as well. Let me plot the different components of capital at first. First, there should be equity share. Total amount as per book value is available, and the amount of equity capital is 5 lakhs. Next, it is 10% prep share. 10% prep share capital. And the amount available, how much? 2 lakhs. Next, it is 12% debenture 12% debenture and that is 3 lakhs rupees let's make the total which is available and it to us it is 10 lakhs let's plot over here the weight of each and every components also I think you can remember the procedure total 10 lakhs is considered as 1 then in case of equity share capital it is 5 lakhs by 10 lakhs the proportion you have to count over here you are getting 0 0.5 for differential 2 lakhs by 10 lakhs you are getting 0 0.2 for differential 3 lakhs by 10 lakhs you are getting over here 0 0.3 okay now we have to plot over here after tax cost for equity share no specific cost available to us but in case of preferential and in case of debenture, it is available over here. It is 10 percent, it is 12 percent. These things are very much indicative. We can count. Then for equity share capital, we have to place over here a note to count the cost of equity share capital. You, I think you will remember the formula of cost of equity share capital. E by P plus G. E is available over here. So let me know plot over here E and at the same time market price per share is also considered as P. G is not available, you just ignore that. Earning per share is available over here rupees 30 and market price per share is also available rupees 240. Okay? 0.125 or rather 12.5 percent. Let me plot over here 0.125. In case of preferential capital, it is specifically mentioned over here 10%. We can write over here 0 0.10. In case of debenture, it is available over here 12%. But since it is after tax cost and in case of debt capital, like we have to make it after tax. What tax it is available over here, we follow considering 30% tax rate. Then again, we are going to plot over here another note to calculate cost of debenture we are not going to follow over here the conventional formula of cost of debenture 
since issue price renewal price lifetime not available to us we just simply follow over here that i equals to 1 minus t we are going to follow it over here exact the formula which we apply in case of cost of town loan now i stands for interest rate that is 0 0.12 1 minus t stands for tax rate that is 30 percent 0 0.30 it should be 0 0.30 you are getting 0 0.084 take a plot for here 0 0.084 now one by one we are going to multiply proportion or weight into after tax cost for equity share capital it is 0.5 into 0.125 we are getting 0.062 for preferential capital it is 0.3 into 0.10 0 0.02 for dimension it is 0.3 into 0.084 0. 0, 2, 5 and you have to make the total 0 0.107 0 0.107 then we should plot over here hence WCC taking book value equals to 0 0.107 or rather 10.7% Now we are going to follow the same question but instead of considering book value now we are going to follow market value as now sources are available as usual equity share, preference share and debenture instead of book value we need to plot over here market value ok the other things remain same there is, for equity share capital there is a scope to consider it as market value then let me count over here the market value of equity capital market value of equity equity capital how to calculate that market value of equity capital like the previous question also here it is total how much 5 lakhs total equity capital according to the book value is 5 lakhs ok now according to the book value it is 5 lakhs number of shares 5000 then book value per share is 5 lakhs by 5100 what is the market value per share what is the market price per share rupees 240 it should multiply by rupees 240 you are getting over here rupees 12 lakhs as market value per share okay rupees 12 lakhs now equity share capital you should plot over here is 12 lakhs there is no change in case of preferential capital and debenture as well it remain as it is your preferential capital is 2 lakhs and your debenture is considered as 3 lakh rupees since no specific market value is provided to us in case of preferential and debenture that is why in case of these two instruments we consider it what we consider the book value method the same value now we plot we are getting a total capital of 17 lakhs rupees based on that right now we are going to calculate the proportion or weight for equation capital it is 12 lakhs divided by 17 lakhs as your total capital it is 0 0.705 then for preferential capital it is 2 lakhs divided by 17 lakhs it is 0 0.117 or debenture it is 0 
seven, six. Okay. Now for liquidity share is zero point seven zero five. For preferential is zero point one one seven. For debenture it is zero point zero point one seven six. Now we are going to plot over here after tax cost which we have already been counted for equity share it is zero point one two five. For preferential share as usual ten percent zero point one zero. For debenture which is also calculated zero point zero eight four. Now we are going to multiply each and every components according to the weight and cost, and we are going to calculate weight cost. 0 0.08, 0 0.11, 0.014, now 0.113. You can write over here, hence WCC taking. Market value as of it zero point one one three, or you can write eleven point three percent. You can write over here the WCC taking market value as of it is zero point one three three or eleven point three percent. Thank you.